been a front of house sound engineer for the last seven years or so. Today I am working at the Empty Bottle in Chicago. Tonight I will be mixing three bands, so they're all local acts. So one particular item that I like working with at the Empty Bottle is the M1 XL. Um, not to be confused with the M1. Um, the XL is, differs a bit from the uh, standard M1 in that it has XLR connections and it has a few more um, options as far as effects and processing um, items. So we have the M1 XL here. It's made by TC Electronic um, and um, it's one of the most standard effects racks that um, people who are involved with touring sound um, request. So um, it's nice that we have it here because a lot of people are very comfortable using it. And um, there's lots of different options of things that you can do. You can actually route it in such a way that you can send and return two separate effects engines um, to be used uh, discreetly. I did a tour recently where um, uh, the, the band wanted to have both a delay and uh, a reverb and um, you know some places only had an M1 as their effects rack. Um, so I was able to set a delay on one channel and a reverb on the other and um, have those work independently of each other rather than in series. So I could send, the, it was a, like a duo, um, female male duo and so the male wanted to have like a doubling delay and the female wanted to have a reverb. So I was able to give the uh, male vocalist a doubling delay and the female vocalist um, a reverb just using one unit. Another great thing about this particular unit is that it has um, like 200 presets which um, we have another unit here, the XPX90, which has about 100 less presets. Um, the TC Electronic has 200 presets. They work really well right out of the box. Um, but you have all these parameters that you could edit and you have a hundred um, user banks that you can store your own uh, settings in as well. So not only do you have those 200 presets, but you have a hundred spots to save um, anything that you do. So um, that's really allows a lot of flexibility. Tonight there's a lot of acoustic instruments. There's like I think a cello and uh, maybe a violin or viola for one of the acts. A nice way to use the reverbs in this room is especially on acoustic instruments just to add kind of a more natural sound. If we have like a DI that we're using from like a nice acoustic instrument it often sounds pretty dry and um, especially in a room like the room that we're in which has a lot of posters on the wall, wood floors, carpeting on the stage. We have all these things that are, are absorbing sound, people in the house especially. You get a pretty dry, unnatural sound from acoustic instruments. I think that's one of the most challenging things to mix in this room. Um, so tonight I will probably use some reverb on the acoustic instruments to make them sound a little bit more natural um, and to kind of interact with each other um, in a way that kind of sounds like they're coming from the same source. Um, reverb is a nice way to kind of add um, a similar, like if you put two instruments both into the same reverb, it kind of makes them be more cohesive. You're adding the same ambience to both of those um, and it makes them sound like they're coming from the same room or the same source. So I think uh, tonight I will probably do a little bit of that.